Hi everyone, welcome back to Cotton English. After a long gap, again with HSA English syllabus. As you know, we have been dealing with the topic, the poetry, I mean the module one poetry. So here we are with a beautiful poem written by Walai Soinga, a telephonic conversation. So in this video, I'm gonna explain the summary and other details of the poetry, a telephonic conversation. So let's get started. Telephone Conversation by Walt Soinga. Telephone Conversation is a poem written by Walt Soinga, a renowned African writer in English. The poem exposes the presence of racial discrimination at the individual level in society even after the passing of laws against it. The poem is a conversation between a white woman and a black man over the telephone. The poet can capture the essence of human interactions across racial differences. The piece of literature becomes significant as it presents both the attitude of the white woman towards black people and the black man's anger towards discrimination. The telephonic conversation poem analysis begins here. So, as I told you, it is a conversation over the telephone. It is between a black man seeking a room for rent and a white landlady who had advertised such an offer. Over the conversation, the hypocritical nature of the landlady as a racist is brought to light. An African man is looking for room to rent and he finds an advertisement in newspaper. The ad says that there is no problem with race, white or black, as the man had better experiences with such an ads earlier. He makes a telephone call to the landlady from a public telephone booth. He tells the lady that he is a black man and asks if it is acceptable. The landlady hesitates for a while she wants to know if he is completely black or half black. When the man says that he is not completely black because his palms and soles are white, the lady goes silent and hangs the phone, even though the man pleads her to at least meet him in person to see for herself he if he is totally black. The poem shows how racial discrimination prevails hidden in the hearts of individuals, even though there are laws against discrimination in the country. They become ineffective if individuals do not change their mindset. The landlady shows double standards. Publicly, she shows that she is not a racist, but Privately, she shows her true attitude. The poem also captures the frustration of the black man. He is anchored by the double standards of such individuals like the landlady. First, he is angry over the lady's questions about his exact shade of color. Then he becomes enraged and sees red all over, all over here. But at the end of the telephone conversation, he is found pleading with the landlady to consider him. So, the poem structure. Wolfsweinger's telephone conversation is a lyric poem. Okay, It is a lyric poem. You can expect a question in connection with this lyric poem written in free verse. The poem is a dialogue involving a black man and white woman. 
the two are indulged in a phone call throughout the poem and uh, now let us discuss the literary techniques or literary figures used in the poetry although telephone conversation appears to the to be a very short and simple poem it is layered and therefore complex due to the techniques used in it the techniques used in terms of the use of language make the ultimate message of the poem heard loud and clear does say the same without deviating from its focus and neither does it give room to ambiguity repetition 